Hello and welcome to this session where we'll walk through how to create a test and upload it to your My Brady Lab course. The creation and upload process is really four steps. As a first step, you'll want to make sure that you've downloaded the test generator software. As a second step, you'll want to make sure that you've downloaded your My Brady Lab test bank. You'll then Create your test within the test generator software, save it for the web, and upload it to your lab. So let's get started. You'll want to start by going to www.pearsonhighered.com. Once here, you're going to browse catalog by discipline, scroll to find EMS and fire science and then select the text that you're using. Additionally, you can always search by author, title, or ISBN using our search field. Once you find the text that you're using, from the catalog page, click the resources link. This is where you're going to find all of your instructor's resources. I'm going to scroll down to find the test bank. Please note, you want to look for test generator as my test cannot be uploaded to my Brady Lab. So this is what you're looking for, the test gen computerized test bank. And by this listing for whichever product you're using, You'll see a notation that you do need to download the test gen software first. You can do that by clicking the link. From here, you'll choose downloads. You'll need to enter a login name and password. Typically, this is the same login you use for your Pearson higher ed site or your My Brady Lab account. You'll want to download the TestGen desktop application and choose Mac or PC and then follow the remaining steps. Once it's downloaded on your machine, you're going to have an icon that looks like this on your computer, almost like a piece of loose leaf paper with some symbols on it. That's how you know you do have the software successfully installed if you double click it will open it up. So now that you've downloaded the test gen software, you'll want to download the actual test bank itself. Now you'll notice we have several different versions if you're using um, another LMS platform and you're creating your tests there, you would utilize those files. But to use the TestGen software on your own computer, choose the TestGen test bank file for either the PC or the Mac. And that's what you'll want to download. You can download by double clicking that link, accept our copyright laws. And I always save the file rather than opening it. Once saved, you can go into your downloads folder to find your test bank. You'll notice the test bank file itself ends in a .bok. My recommendation when you do create this is to always create a folder. Where you can save all of your test banks. I like to keep mine on my desktop so I can very easily access them. Now that I've downloaded my files, I'm going to move this .bok file from my downloads folder and save it in a more permanent spot on my computer. 
So now, instead of being in the downloads folder, it's on a separate folder on my desktop. To pull this into my test generator, I'm going to now open up the test gen software, come up to the file menu, and say file, add test bank to library. I'm now going to find from my desktop in my folder, the .bok file I just downloaded and say open. And now it's right here and I can open this up. Now the next part of this process, if you do want to create a web test that you can upload to your My Brady Lab course, is to create a new web test. So from the right hand side of your screen, select web test to get started. You do need to specify a web platform and depending on the version of TestGen that you have, your options may look slightly different, but you want to select the QTI format. QTI will allow you to upload to My Brady Lab. If you don't specifically see QTI in the title, you may want to look for WebCT CE6 or WebCT Vista and check for QTI in the description. It will say QTI compliant. Then say OK. From here, you can start selecting test questions using the questions in your test bank library. I'm hitting the plus sign to drop open all of the chapters, hitting the plus sign again to drop open, open the questions available within each chapter, and dropping it open again to choose either my application questions or my knowledge recall questions. To drag the questions over, I simply highlight a question and drag it. Additionally, if I'd like to use all of the questions, I can just select that section or even the whole chapter and drag that over. Once my test is ready, I'm going to come back up to the file menu and save my test. Again, I'm going to save it in my test folder. Now that I've created my test, I'm going to go to the My Brady Lab course. So you can go to My Brady Lab at www.mybradylab.com and I'm going to sign in using my login name and password. I'm going to go into my Brady course. And from my left hand toolbar, I'm going to drop open instructor tools, select assignment manager, hit the create assignment button and create a test. I'm going to name my test and when it's asking me how I would like to create my test, I'm going to select upload an existing test created in TestGen. Now I may get a notice that my students need to install the TestGen plugin to take this test, but it's not currently in the browser check. If that's the case, you can go to the learning aid section of the course to include it. And you can do that either by clicking or by doing it when you complete setting up your test. So from here, in the Edit Course Information page, you would hit Require the Test Gen Plugin. And it's as easy as that. Go back and save. If you'd like to do this setting after you've set up your assignment, you would do that from the course settings page.
then going into learning aids and test options, hit the edit button to open that up and you'll get to the same spot. But now let's go back to the assignment manager. And again, we're going to hit create assignment, create test, name our test, and I'm going to upload an existing test created in test gen and hit next. Since we did change that setting, you'll notice we did not get that warning message this time. So it is telling me that I have to create or save my test using test gen version 3.3 or higher. I'm going to browse my files. Go back into my test bank folder where I saved my test and here is this chapter one test that we did create and save. And you can see we get to the settings page after that where I can control all of the other settings. For this exam, I can enter that information as I see fit and when I'm done I will simply hit save and assign. Now you'll notice because I did create this in test gen, it automatically understands that questions from chapter one were pulled. And if you search for your chapter one tests, this will pop up. Now, if I go to my course home page, I can see my test is here. It's available. If I click on it, I can start the exam and submit my answers. So this has been our tutorial on how to create and upload a test using Test Generator within your My Brady Lab course. If you do have additional questions, you can feel free to go back to the My Brady Lab homepage, click the training rent link for educators and sign up for one of our online training sessions. Take a look at our implementation guide or see additional how-to videos right online. Of course, you can always reach out to your Brady sales representative as well. Thank you for listening. Thank you for choosing Brady and good luck with your programs.